Hi guys, it's Belle here and welcome back to the final episode in the Little Golden Book Journal uh, series, tutorial series that I was doing. Basically, this is going to be a flip through. Um, I'm not going to be making ephemera for this journal. I think I said that in the first video, but I'm unsure. I'm not going to be making ephemera for this journal, but I can talk you through kind of what you can do, the sort of basics. And the reason I'm not going to be making ephemera for this journal is because it is going to be a memory keeping journal. Uh, so it's going to have tons of photographs in it. So I don't want to make loads of ephemera because most of what I'm going to be putting in here is probably just playing card with a photo on the front and writing on the back or a playing card tag again. Um, because I know exactly what I'm using this for and I know exactly how many pictures I have of my kittens. So uh, yeah. I've just got it tied with this kind of thin thread at the moment that's all um, uh, multicoloured. I'm not sure I like it, uh, but, you know, I can always change that. In the last episode, we worked on, let's see if I can get this in shot, worked on making the tassel. I really love how the tassels worked out. In case you watched that video and remember I struggled with the little black cat charm, I did manage to puncture it quite easily once I was off camera with a little tail. So we have Binx with Binxie's um, name from her very first collar. And back here we have a charm that looks a bit like toffee with its little tail and where's hers and there's her name from her very first collar and it's all dangles and beads I added a few more beads because I can't help myself I get carried away and it's removal which is what we're going to do and we're going to go straight into the journal I love how it looks still room to grow which is what I like about little golden book journals um even though I've added a few bits and bobs and I'll talk you through all that so Four signatures, eight by six, um, using scrapbook card. Uh, if you've watched all the other videos, you'll know, but just in case you haven't, yep, using a little golden book journal and scrapbook card and dyeing and trims. There is um, a space here where I'm going to put a photo. Then I've just got this little card from an old game with a T, a vintage one because for toffee. Um, so here we've got two tuck spots. I have lots of, um, what are they called? Ah, oh, there's a certain type of card. What's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, I'll put it down below, but I've got lots of these and this one says this magic moment. So I can put something on there and then put some paper across there and actually put a photo or something. I also had a book with get under there it's a tuck spot with lots of uh, little vintage but with all these beautiful cat pictures so i've cut those out and i've just put paper on the back i haven't rounded the corners or anything because i will put a photo on the back first or maybe writing got a cd case there and this such a cute little metallic purple cat clip and a paper clip and i just thought that went on there nicely and also then it just got a little bit of detail on that side it's on the book pages got a large pocket up here and then a tuck spot there we've got um, another journaling card in there lots of space for a photo for writing for dates um, and then if you haven't watched the other videos, you won't know, but I used to be subscribed to a book box, which was called Feline and Fiction. And, um, yeah, uh, blah, 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 what was I going to say? Yeah. So it's called Feline Fiction. And basically you get both a book for you and treats for you and treats for your cat. And every time they would send you a postcard, 
sort of picture I can cover that up because it does say feline fiction I can cover all that up with some paper but I like this because it said good luck 2022 I thought I'd use them in here because they're perfect to put photographs on the back of right on and obviously I got these kittens in 2022 and then I have some of these cards they're actually from the Cats Protection League these are old ones I have had them for probably 10 years or more um, I can write inside them they do have a little cat I do have a torty and I may or may not keep them in here. It depends because obviously I want pictures of my cat. But I just thought they're cute and it's a good place to use them. I've got a little tuck spot here with a little tag that I have put some paper on the back of. And then there's another tuck spot here should I want to add anything else. Then a um, little tuck spot here with a little card just down there making sure it's all on camera. Again, there's a tuck spot there with this vintage book page and another beautiful picture from the vintage cat book that I had. I loved all the bright pictures. We've got a tuck spot here and I've added some trim and then another journaling card for writing, putting pictures, all that kind of thing on. And then obviously a tuck spot under here lots of space to write just got i have these bright index cards so i just thought i'd put an index card in this little belly band added an embellishment another large pocket here and over the side lots of spraying love how it's looked so i got sent this um by pen pal um not pen pal by a well in some happy craft mail uh, with a pocket letter years ago and I love it because this actually means now and if you can see there's a bird down here about to um, cut that and the cat's about to go Phew! and yeah it's just a postcard and I loved it and I thought what a perfect place to put it and then here I've just got another little this is from a cut apart sheet and an envelope because I might want to use the envelope and I've just attached them with a little paper clip because I like how that looks and a tuck spot there for something. So we've got a pocket here. I put a trim across the top so that that actually holds. Hold on, let me get it. It actually holds that bit. So I can put something inside here, keep it tucked down under there. And then I have another large journaling card. I can put paper or a photo on the back. It says, cool kit. Um, oh, and I didn't do this in the other video I kind of done it off camera I had all the I had a couple of these little vintage pictures from a very old magazine and I just thought they worked perfectly as decoration so that's what I did and another tuck spot there again I'm not over decorating because I will be filling it with memories second uh, signature We've got a belly, um, a side tuck here with a tuck spot up there. And in here again, I've just got another journaling card. And then another one of these pictures. I love this one. Some paper on the back. So again, I could put a beautiful picture of my girls on the back of there. Lots of space to write. Here, I got another feline and fiction postcard. And another one of the Cats Protection League's postcards. Look at that little kitten. Isn't it adorable? Oh. And then in here we've got two tuck spots. And I've added two tags. Again, it's got paper on the back. And then this lifts up. So, but obviously I have to take the tags out first. Otherwise it won't lift. So, yeah. And over the side, another some happy mail this was much larger it was a huge postcard i was didn't know how i was going to use it i've had it for years and it works in here really well again i can write on here i can add a photo on here and just to give it a little bit of interest i've got this fish paper clip that i've attached another dyed page i really love how these dyed pages have come out tuck spot here with another journaling card i can have it either way and a photo on the back large um, vellum pocket here another tuck spot here with a picture from that vintage book I was talking about 
kind of reminds me of a mix between my toffee now and a cat that I used to have um, and right here in the middle a couple of feline and fictions this one actually came with the box I've recently got which was their first experience of that box and they really liked the toys inside and oh my gosh look at that kitten again it's another cat's protection league I may not keep those in there like I said they're in there now because it just gives it some interest until I fill it up completely. We'll see how I feel. Um, another tuck spot there with a cut apart. Meow. And large journaling card, life stories, photos. And I can put a picture or write on the back of there with that tuck spot. Nothing here, but we've got a tuck spot there. We've got um, a pocket here. And then when we open it up, there's a pocket here. So lots there and then double tuck spot here. So I have um, an index card, um, a vintage, bit of a vintagey one, sort of. Not, don't know how old it was. I picked it up recently and it's got to be for, of course, Binks. And then another tuck spot with another cut, cut apart there that just tucks in really nicely under there. So obviously I have to have their initials. So uh, this was a double pocket last time we left it, but I've actually added this image that I had. Again, it was sent to me in Happy Mail, made another pocket. So just the blue index card, always needs space to write. This was another postcard someone sent me in Happy Mail um, quite a while ago. The cats are nervous when it's raining and I just love all the black cats on there. So obviously that was perfect for this journal and this was a postcard from an old magazine i liked all the bright colors it kind of goes um because of how bright this whole journal is whether it will stay i don't know they're in for now we'll see a uh, large pocket here another postcard from that subscription box and then i have a tim holtz file folder in there that i can put pictures on i can write on i can put all sorts in so that's good. Tuck spot there with another little journaling card. It says, uh, it says the lovely details about you. So I can write about the girls or one of them on there. I've got this postcard. I love it. I love the rainbow. When you get tired, learn to rest, not to quit. And I just thought it's perfect because it's about cats. Uh, again, I can put a photo on the back. And this is another magnetic pocket with lots of writing space. And then... We've got a pocket here and I just took a, um, a die and cut out some of the paper, cut out a shape from some of the paper I've used in the journal. And in this side tuck, there's a large tag again, just took a simple die, but you could always just cut a tag shape and poke that in there. And then I've got this little fish paper clip that I thought went really well. So that's there tuck spot here with a pink index card this time and this cat it's again for um well what's this one from oh this is from Battersea Dogs and Cats again a very old card but I just like the images and I thought the eyes on this one really went with the color of this page so it's good to just have it tucked in there to be used um double tuck spot here large journaling card reasons why I love you don't be sad because it's over um yeah reasons why I love you <laughs> I'm gonna need longer than that but still Tim Holtz word and I like that because it's curious and the kitties are curious and that's a tux under there and then we've got another CD case here and again I just added a little cat paper clip which I just think it's metallic green and it just adds a little something to that tuck tuck spot here with one of the pictures from that book oh so cute and I thought there's two of them you know like the girls okay so we have a tuck spot here with nothing in and then behind here we have another picture from that cat book which is just so colorful and then and I thought it really went actually with the image on here which is rather cute and the colours 
this opens up for writing space and right in here all I've done is take one of my favorite pieces of card that I've been using in this kit the flock twine cut it down to size great for putting a picture on the back and rounded the corners and that's because there is a top tuck up in here and I just keep it sticking out a little bit tuck spot here this was just something I had in my stash I'll probably round the corners again but until I've put photos on um, or know how I'm going to use them I'm not going to round the uh, corners yet got um, tuck spot here I put some decoration on here got another journaling card this one's got a cute little bird on it and another one of these from that subscription box I'm not sponsored I buy it with my own money I just thought this was a great way I've had them sitting for a couple of years you know they've been collecting and it's a great way to use them up tuck spot in here because I couldn't put something down to hold it because it would look a bit too much with that there I've got this cute cat paper clip that just clips on and sticks out a little bit like a tab which I think is cute tuck spot here with a B for Binksy and large pocket here mm -hmm. Oh, love these pages it's all just works so well and the final signature we've got um a large belly band here and i've just added again one of those pictures an index card and again it's um a journaling card and i just put them all in there because yeah i don't know how i'm going to use it yet large pocket here and another cut apart and this will be good because in the morning during the day at night favorite toy favorite person favorite activity that'll be fun to fill in for both of them um pocket here one of those vintage images again another one of the cards that i had lying around and another cats protection league cat there so it's just a good way go through your stash work out what you've got it once you know what your journal is about what you want to use it for you can put all sorts of bits and bobs in there it's another one so i got sent the two large um postcards in happy mail i think you can see all those great cats in it cut it down rounded the edges put it in that pocket and i've got another cat paper clip in green and that just fits on there looking super cute um so we've got a large pocket here and then another pocket i added that up there we've got the index card with the t for toffee and we've got another about me card a delightful surprise so that works well and then in the middle here it's just full of cards from the box and from the cats protection league um We've got a picture here from that book. Love that one. It's on the back. Another journaling card. Reasons why I love you again. Um, and another card here from the box. So I'm just really glad that I'm getting and I'm holding it together with paper clips. I like the way it looks. Adds a bit of interest. Um, I'm really liking the way it all looks and i'm getting to use up bits that have just been sitting in a drawer for far too long large pocket up here and then a cut apart here for that tuck spot and then we've got a pocket here move that off there it won't come off hold on it's gone underneath so we've got a pocket here and then this envelope opens up and obviously there's a pocket here and then this is a tuck spot and another image from that book and then on the other side we've got another one of the images from that book that just tucks under there and then another piece of my favorite card because it's all flocked that I've also put in here because that can have something put on the front it can be written on and a pink cat paper clip which just fits on there so cutely and you can see it against there got a tuck spot here that i just added some die cut trim to another large pocket here and then this is a vintage birthday card that i was given when i was very young that i just love i just love this card and the orange really picked up on the orange there 
and again is a great way to use up a card and then that's the back of the book guys so that's it we're finished not everything's got something in but i've just used bits and bobs that i've had um that worked well that i like the colors that i like the images i don't know if i'll keep it all in there it will really depend as i use the journal uh and yeah i just thought it was a great way to use them up they're just sitting there some of them have been sitting there for years and years and years and i just absolutely love how this journal has turned out and i'm gonna thoroughly enjoy filling it with all the different pictures and memories of my two little kittens Stoffy and Binks and their first year with us um, so this is going to end up very chunky <laughs> it's going to be hard I take about 10 photos of the one thing my phone's just full of photos of them so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial and got something out of it or just enjoyed watching it come together and again just remember you don't always have to make a brand new tag or a brand new journaling card just grab what you've got um, and if it means something to you like something that's been sent in happy mail or a birthday card or I don't know a postcard you've picked up somewhere it's perfect to go into a journal because you can write in the back and you can add photos and that's what I'm going to be doing Anyway, that's it for now, guys. I really do hope you've enjoyed this. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it. And I will be back soon with another video. But it's now time to say goodbye to Toffee and Bink's journal for now. I may do a couple journals with me at some point in the future. So, wherever you are in the world, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I hope you're having lots and lots of crafty fun. Bye for now.